Okay, I want to start off this video with something that happened to my friend and it's pretty sad and it, it, this can happen to any hardcore Iron Man as well. So I, I think I was editing a video or I was recording so I had my, uh, you know, the, the chat was off. I couldn't see what he was typing. So I put my chat on and he's like, yo, guess what? I just completed Desert Treasure. I was like, nice job because it's a pretty dangerous quest. And he says, I have 230 quest points. Amazing. And here's the deal, he already completed Desert Treasure like 5 minutes ago and he was already doing the last part of a Recipe for Disaster because that was the last quest that he needed to do. He just couldn't get any magic logs, he could have done it way earlier. So he's doing it and he says, uh, can you teleport out of that place? Like can you use any emergency teleport? I said no, you cannot teleport from the final area. The only way you can leave that area is if you go through the portal. That also means that if you get disconnected, Ring of Life will not save you because it cannot teleport you out. So it's a very dangerous zone. Like you should really, not, I, that's literally what I said. You should not be doing this quest at the moment. I DC'd like 20 minutes ago. And I am not shitting on you, like 20 seconds, maybe 20, 30 seconds later. And even before this, he said, I'm just going to finish this one guy off because he was already in combat and he said he's going to leave. Literally 20 to 30 seconds later, he gets disconnected in there. He dies and he loses his hardcore Iron Man status. But I, I, I can't believe this. That was like the ultimate prediction. It just pisses me off so much because the guy was playing extremely safe. Like you would ask me, is this quest safe to do? Like I remember he, he thought that contact quest was pretty easy to do. I said, no, the last boss is pretty dangerous. He spawns like these minions. I said that, that don't even try to do this at your combat level. And here he is dying to a simple disconnect that's out of his control. So what I'm trying to say is don't do anything in peak time. Like if you see a lot of people are playing, like I don't know how you imagine peak time, but uh, I would say like 60K people. Basically I would do anything dangerous in the morning only when there are like 25K people playing or 20K people. That's why I don't do Monkey Madness 2. Because it's dangerous, like the whole quest is dangerous. The only time I would do it is in the morning. So today I'm going to be going to raids, but I'm not going to try to complete them. I want to see how much Herblord experience can you get in there. Because you're getting free seeds, you can plant your own herbs, and you can make potions. And it, it doesn't cost you anything, and you know, Herblord experience on Iron Man, it, it's kind of precious. You have to collect all these herbs, you have to do kingdom. What if you could get free experience. Let's just say that you need a quick 100k Herblood experience on your Iron Man. There is no way to get it. That's the thing. That's the kind of skill it is. You, you, you can't get it. You have to wait a day or two or three days until you get enough herbs. And 100k experience, that, that's like what? Like that's like 500 good quality herbs. No, wait, did I say 500? Because I think you need like 800 Amentos just to get 100k experience. So it's a very huge deal for Iron Man. And maybe raids is the answer. But before I go there, I still need to get two herbal or levels. And I think I'll be making the, this one, the 65. You see that? I think that should give me the most experience as that's the highest potion that I could be making. But I have no idea how to get those two levels up. Like Aventos are going to give me one full level so I'll um, only one level to go I could be making some cadentine potions for some super defense but you need 65 herblord so unless I make uh, like uh, a lot of botanical pies because you cannot no you can no longer log out like every minute to stop the timer wait what the hell is happening I'm um, only 65 herblord and I can make these super defense potions I think it's because I started the action when I was still 66 and when it dropped down to 65 it still allowed me to do that because I'm pretty sure it's 6... Yeah, look at that. Super defense is 66. So if I try to make a potion right now, it will say I need 60. Wow. Okay. This could be maybe abused somewhere. Probably not as much, but uh, it's still something to, to keep in mind. Okay, I'm going to try to make this again. At any time, this should be going down. There we go. 65 and I'm still making. Yep, so it is working. And yes, that's gonna be my raiding gear. It doesn't look too good, but I only have 97 broad bolts, so I, I don't think I can do too much in there. I thought I was gonna rely on melee, but then I realized, hey, I was killing skeletal vivens. I have these addy bolts in my bank, so I can make some ruby bolts and maybe use those. 
Okay, so here I am in the raid right now, but it's not as simple as it sounds. You know, you, you don't just go and get some seeds and just plant them and train herb lord that way. No, no, no. You have to end this first floor because at the end of the floor, there's going to be a patch which you can rake and then you can get unlimited amount of seeds. And you also need a skilling room on the first floor. So pretty much this first floor has to be completable as far as I know. And I'm going to cheat with OS buddy. Oh yes, I'm gonna turn on open GL mode. The, the screen just went black. Hopefully it will. There we go. It fixed itself. And in this mode, you can zoom out as. Oh, I have a limit. Wait, let me just fix this. And now I can zoom out as far as I can. Why cannot I see like everything? I thought it was supposed to see the whole floor. Wait, so let me just. Man, it's so zoomed out. It's kind of annoying. Wait, can I? Oh, there we go. We got a loading screen, and now I'm getting attacked by these mages, which shouldn't be that big of a deal. But now you can see like way more of the raid. So this room is completable. Oh, this is just keeps getting better because. Oh, this is just keeps getting better because. This is actually the perfect room so far. I got two hair patches. This is what I pick vials, and this is what I fill them, and and just repeat the process. And I even got the big scavengers. You're gonna see just about now because these are a, a very huge deal. If you get the small ones, they barely drop any supplies. It's all about the the big ones that was something that i forgot but can i complete this room until the end like i died two times already just saying you don't lose your hardcore status yo and that is the end this is the hole so all i have to do is this easy room that easy room and i just that's it that's uh where you take the weeds and where you get the seeds this is like the luckiest room that i've ever gotten just like that i mean we got the skilling room huge scavengers it's completable I thought it's gonna take me like 20 times until I get the perfect room. This is the perfect room right here and I got it. Okay, it's just one thing that I'm not getting. Look, if I clean these herbs, I have like 22k actions left, which is just insane. If I'm making potions, I'm gonna have less actions, but I still have over 2000 actions. I, s I have to make 2.2k potions until my next level. Even though it seems like I'm getting a decent amount of experience. It's all 15k or something. Yay! What a good test. I love testing raids. I just love to do that. Now, obviously, after connection loss, as far as I know, I'll be outside and I will not be able to go back into this room. So I want to conclude this. This is absolutely terrible. Like, you're not, not going to be getting 12k experience, as I said. You'll be getting more like... 6k xp an hour maybe 7 maybe 8k because first of all you have to find the perfect room you know the one that you will be able to complete you may try for like 20 tries who knows you may be getting bosses that you will not be able to solo like i got lucky because i didn't get any bosses to kill at all so you're spending your precious time to just look for that perfect room you're not getting any experience and obviously that decreases your experience an hour then when you finally find it you realize oh Wait, in my case at least, I needed 2,200 secondary ingredients. When I was killing those big scavengers, I thought 500 was enough. Like, look at my inventory. That's not even a quarter, barely a quarter of my level. And I was killing them for quite a while, you could say. Maybe five, seven minutes. So that's gonna add up as well. And it's, it's just a bunch of stuff that you need to do. Not worth it. Ultimately, it's around seven, eight 9k experience an hour i already don't like this video at all i am editing this at the moment and all i can see is me bank standing and just doing nothing and i cannot fill anything in as i'm talking because i'm usually showing some kind of herb or, or something like this so i just want this to be over and i want to restart just hit that button you know just hit restart next time i'm gonna try to do this better anyway just a few hours ago i was training herblor and i used a lot of avento i don't know why is it so common to get it from kingdom but i had a lot of it and i made like 450 super energies and you can make them with mortmire fungus now when i was blessing these things you know these logs where you get the fungus from i was not getting double fungus because i don't have mortitania tasks completed I need to activate Piety Prayer to complete Mauritania hard tasks. And I cannot do this at the moment because I had, I think, level uh, 64 prayer and now I am 68. Actually very close to 69, but still that's a full level. I need like 80k prayer experience until I can complete it. And I have no bones left. 
I have no unsold heads left. And of course, it's not just for double mushrooms. That's just a silly thing, but you get 50% more runes from battles. So that's going to be good for the future. You also get uh, an experience lamp, which I think is like 10,000 worth. So that's going to be good for rune crafting as I don't need Herblore anytime soon now. You know, just need those double cosmics. And just um, in general, more completion of, of rune skills.